you know, obviously Overpass seems to be one of those pivotal songs talking about this premonition that you've been having and you were kind of seeing from, this is how I got it. You kind of saw your own death happen before your own eyes, right? So you had like this enlightening kind of spiritual moment, right? Could you like elaborate and like fill in the gaps for me? I'm trying to understand it. Yeah. Um, when I do people, uh, when I do people call me crazy and just, it just perpetuates people thinking I'm crazy. Um, but yeah, I have no problem, uh, kind of elaborating. Um, so if I'm going to elaborate in a proper way, I'll think I'll, I'll start like, uh, further back in time. If that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I've, I tell like people that are closer to me, um, this stuff and I'm used to really keeping this, like stuff more secretive and I, and it kind of it kind of i kind of fuck up because like when i do like when i with the overpass and stuff like that when i make posts about like what the song is about i only say in like now time uh or most recently in like what specifically the song is about and people just go back like resort back to like oh you're fucking crazy blah blah blah. he lost his mind kind of stuff um yeah, and that's, that's fun the, that's the internet the internet always just jumps to conclusions right away yeah, they they all like yeah it, it's it's stressful but um so but when I jump back in time I think they're gonna still say that I'm fucking crazy too so I mean that's fine because like I'm used to that my dad um since I was thirteen there's been multiple times where he's had to look up whether I'm schizophrenic or not and um it was mostly just because. I was having experiences and uh, hauntings and things like that in different houses we lived in um, where he couldn't explain it any other way than just immediately jumping to the conclusion that I was schizophrenic or something. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going to jump back uh, further in time and it's like over something really simple. Um, so I was given, uh, so like some people like on, I guess like spiritual Twitter, they would be like, Oh my God, he's like a, an empath psychic crystal ball dude or whatever. But like, that's not how I see it. It's not there's like a spiritual uh, side to Twitter. Spiritual. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's I, a whole, there's a fucking, I thought Twitter was just about canceling everybody. Mostly, but uh, <laughs> the other parts about astrology and like, uh, being, yeah, which okay. I'm not, I'm not going to get into that. Side. <laughs> right. that's, but, um, so basically, uh, let's see, it was like my first, um, it was the first like uh, girlfriend I had that was like legitimate, like that was really serious. Um, me and her were very serious and in love and stuff. And I got, I basically just had this dream one night that, and it was a very specific dream, one that I still remember every detail in color to this day but basically we were in this t the top of a skyscraper and i'm just going to summarize it uh and we were all dancing and it was new year's eve and we were watching the co clock countdown and then when it hit uh midnight uh there was like this like huge quake and we all run to the window look out on the horizon we're in the skyscraper overlooking uh a city that stretches to the horizon and all of a sudden the sky gets wiped black so it doesn't turn black but it like wipes black like this yeah uh, and then all of a sudden you see like this like a uh, nuclear blast like radius thing that's just like coming and as it's passing over the buildings it's like destroying each building and like turning it to ruins um and then it hits our building it splits the built the the fucking uh tower in half like this okay and me and her and everyone are standing on one side of the building and on the other side of the split is the elevator to get all the way down uh but we have to jump over this gigantic crack uh, to get there and so i grab her hand and i run over there with her and i'm like all right we have to jump like i know it's far but we have to do it and she's like she grabs me before i jump over she grabs me and pulls me to her and she looks in my eyes concerned and she's like, I can't go with you. And I was like, why? And she's like, I'm not going to make it. 
And then I wake I wake up immediately know that we're fucking breaking up. <laughs> it was high school, so it was like it was probably way too like uh way too cool for like a high school breakup to have like a premonition like that. But yeah, it was like a week later we ended up like separating like that because we couldn't we just couldn't she couldn't go with me kind of thing. Really? Uh, so like a week after she the breakup actually happened. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And um and so like there was a couple things there's a couple of premonitions like that that happened to me. Um and it was always apocalyptic and it was always like death related, right? Um but every time that I would have it, it wasn't that I died or it wasn't that I um was destroyed in that sense, but it was like a it was I would have these like premonitions before something major happened in my life that was like crazy emotionally destructive, like to the point where like it was just so much that it would change like my DNA in a sense. Um and so the overpass uh the overpass thing was um I, I still think about it sometimes because it's like what does the overpass mean, right? It's like I was, I died underneath of like a place where paths cross, right, or something. I don't know, but um, I I try to decipher it, but it's like it it doesn't matter. It was like I knew it was coming, um, and I, I this was like a vision that I had actually while I wasn't sleeping. It was like a conscious one. Oh, wow. Well, I was like awake during the day and it just hit me and I cried a whole bunch uh, without tears. <laughs> when I cry, I don't actually cry. It's like internally. Really? I yeah, I don't I don't like cry. I like cry. <laughs> oh, that that's interesting. I weep like a baby when I cry. Yeah, I don't like I don't I haven't cried for like 10 to 15 years or some shit. But I, like it hit me one day and it was like, um, I think it was an apartment with my fiance at the time and it, I was off tour and I got hit with the overpass premonition and just like, it literally was like a, a brain download. Like it just like hit my brain and it made me like weep inside. And like immediately after that, I, um, just like focused on <clears throat> literally valuing each minute and every moment like even when I was being bitched at by my ex I would just be like that's so cute <laughs> that you care so much you know what I mean and yeah, like that's a good way of looking at it it's true yeah and and just like uh valuing like all the dumb shit with like my old manager and stuff like that it was just like more of just like being grateful for like everything just being grateful to be alive um and then I wrote the song and we released the album and then the album made like the the song made sense once we split because i feel like that's what the premonition was about was about this like gigantic catastrophic catastrophic event that was going to happen that wasn't necessarily apocalyptic or your death but it was it was definitely something that was like catastrophic to uh like my soul and my emotions and so that's why I feel like Overpass is definitely about was about, and I'm I'm scared now to write songs because I feel like a lot of the songs that I because like when I look back at old songs, I read the lyrics and shit, and then it's like, dude, like this is like what my life became after I wrote the song. <laughs> really? Yeah. So, so it's like all the premonitions that you've had over the years, they've all been like necessarily true to some certain point. Yeah. But it's not something that I can pinpoint. It's not something that it's like a um more gradual and nuanced. It's it's more like if when I when I look back and I read them, um, I'm like, fuck, dude, stop writing songs. Cause like are the songs the reason why I'm fucking shot? <laughs> so to clarify with um overpass you had the premonition and then you wrote the l lyrics or you wrote the lyrics and then had the premonition no i uh had the premonition and i wrote the lyrics yeah that, that's what i was thinking okay 
Uh, with the, with the, those one, with uh, overpass, I had the premonition more than once, um, and that's why I mean we have a we have a song that uh, that was called Overpass because like Overpass isn't like a really cool name, but it is something that like meant a lot. Um, and same with the lyrics. I mean, just like <laughs> it's like if you if you don't know, I guess. Like maybe it maybe it sounds like kind of poetic, right? But uh, yeah, it's not like the the coolest sounding shit. 